What's good guys, hope all is well and that you're having a wonderful day. For those who are new, welcome to my channel where we talk all things graphic design and create weird, funky, and cool stuff together and see the process behind it. So today we're going to be redesigning a poster for one of my favorite hip hop artists out right now and that is Playboy Cardi. Since Halloween has passed, I thought it would be a fun idea to create a spooky related theme perfect for Cardi's aesthetic. And since Playboy Cardi has a fascination for this kind of gothic medieval look and Loki, I think he wants to be a vampire, I think we could create an interesting and fun poster. I dug up some references that we could go over and kind of pinpoint some of the elements of what makes them successful that we could implement it into the poster itself. So let's get started. So earlier today, I was digging through the web and got inspired by these kind of cool vintage and old school looking horror films posters that will go really well with play with Cardi's dark and vampire aesthetic. What I really love about these posters are they all share this up close intense shot of the main character with dramatic lighting all around. Also surrounding has these beautiful colors and typography. There's typically a large title located either at the top or bottom of the posters which really gives it that noir cinematic look. These are all really great references that I think we could put a modern twist to it for Playboy. So let's open up Photoshop and create a new artboard of the standard poster size 24 by 36. Let's set the resolution to 300 pixels since we want the poster to be a little more crisp. I really love this picture of Play with Cardi during a concert where he kind of stuck his tongue out. He looks a bit evil and satanic, which is perfect. So what we want to do next is save the photo onto the desktop and just drag it into our Photoshop. Let's kind of size up the image to make that head proportionally feel good into that composition. All right, let's make it a little larger. And yeah, that's feeling pretty good. Cool. And that red background is really nice. We can use that as our main backdrop. So what we want to do is there's that weird negative space up on top. We want to blend that in with the background. How to do that is use the fill tool. We're going to highlight the area of white, left click it and press fill. So it will continue upwards of that red background. So it could be a little bit continuous and it could cut down your work time. Cool. Yeah, that's looking good. What we want to do next is separate the head from the body because all we really need is the head. So we're going to use the lasso tool and select from the chain downwards from the shoulders to the torso everything we want to get rid of. And we're going to use the stamp tool to get rid of all that excess area that we don't need. I'm selecting different areas of that nice red background that I want to include over on top. So to make it a bit more natural, I select a little bit of the dark areas and the light areas. And don't mind it being a little blotchy because you can always go back and use the patch tool to make it a little bit more smoother. And we're going to patch it up all that kind of weird dark cloudy areas to make it feel a bit smoother. Cool. And yeah, it's getting a little bit more smoother. We could do a little bit more work with that. And also let's clean up the excess negative space from his chain on the bottom. Let's get rid of that using the stamp tool too. Okay, that's feeling pretty good, but his head does look a little small, so let's scale it up a bit more and center it. Kind of tilt it a bit. Cool, yeah, it's looking pretty nice. And Playboy Card is showing his teeth, right? So we could include some of that cool fang action in there. So what we want to do is use a stamp tool and extend that two front fang like teeth. Just kind of drag that out a little bit and elongate the stem and make it a little sharp. So that's a little bit too long. So we could cut that down and clean it a little bit more. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. And let's do it to his right side as well. And what we could do next is start adding in those big bold texts that those old horror film posters had as well. And what we want to do is separate the layers. So we want the head by itself and the background separate so we can include type in kind of the middle ground. So the front can be the head and then it can overlap with the type and we could do some cool effects with that. What we want to do is duplicate the layer and name it Playbook Cardi Head and Red Background. Now we're going to select Playboy Cardi's head and just 
fill it up to make it that smooth transitional red background cool and we can start adding in type let's include 2020 in roman numerals to represent how crazy 2020 was what we want to do is make it black and search a font that we like let's make it a bit more gothic to represent that vampire vibe and stretch that outwards and kind of include that in the background I got this font from the fonts. It's free to use and I'll leave a link down below so you guys can use it. So what we want to do is because we can't see the type on the back, there's still that red background for Playbook Hardy. So what we want to do is use the layer mask and start cutting it out. As you can see, we start cutting it out. You can see the, the background of the type. What's nice about layer mask tool is you don't erase or delete any of the background. It's simply masking it. So you can always bring it back if you made a mistake. And now that everything's pretty much cut, it's still a little rough and we can always go back and clean it up. We want to make the text three dimensional. I think that will give it a little bit more of a cooler feeling. We want to select the type and go into layer area and go to layer styles. And we're going to do bevels. And you see it gives it a little more dimension. It's a little crazy right now, but we could kind of tone it down a little bit more. yeah that's that's looking pretty good just a slight little edge glow you can also change the direction of where the light hits it and there's like that little graph that we could play with and we could just finesse the degree a little bit this feels pretty cool so let's kind of play with that scale let's make it feel a little bit more because what we want to do is we want to fit playboy cardi's name on the top so let's write down oops that's not right we gotta create another type layer and let's type in playboy cool and let's kind of stretch that outwards so you got playboy right there playboy cardi that type doesn't feel too right so let's change that font to make it a bit more gothic let's see which one looks good yeah this one's all right i think it'll look great but we gotta make a title case to give it a little bit more elegance and let's kind of stretch that outwards like so the eyes are really cool on this font i'll include a link down below as well of what that font is let's kind of play with the proportions of the 20 numerals stretch that downwards give a little bit more space so we're going to include the same bevel effect that we did for the 20 onto the playboy cardi title as well like so and let's kind of clean some of the areas around his head you can see there's still some reminiscence of that redness that we could kind of use to fade it in All right, what we want to do next is make his eyeballs red. I think that'll give it a little bit more of like a devilish scary factor to it. So what we want to do is select his pupils, his brown pupils, make it red. So we're going to go to image adjustment and we're going to do hue saturation. And we can control the amount of redness we could use and kind of the lightness it could be. So right now, change it to that. We can make it a little bit brighter to kind of pop out more. So that's a pretty nice red. And what we're gonna do is use a mask tool so we can select and cut out the areas to make it just be the pupils. Like so. Yeah, he's looking a little bit more vampire -y. Cool. Let's kind of just clean it up a little bit more. And let's bring out a little bit more emphasis on the Play With Cardi title. So let's play with the bevels and curves to make it more exaggerated up on top. Awesome. And what we can do next to fill up the poster space is include some of that nice lightning bolt magic that a lot of those horror film movies have. So let's go online and look up some cool lightning action. We want to find one that blended in with the background a little easier. 
So this one's pretty cool. We could grab this and drag it into our composition and kind of just play with it to see how it looks in the background. So let's kind of place it towards his head on the top left. And let's play with some of the layering effects and you can see these effects will adjust and help you blend with your composition. So that's nice. Let's kind of adjust it and play with how it can look on the background. Give it a little bit more life and electricity into this poster. Let's grab some other ones and just kind of do the same thing as well. Let's make it both on the left side and right side as well. So that effect looks pretty cool. It looks a little bit more natural. Let's add that to the background. Cool. And it gets a little busy. So what we could do is mask things out. So it kind of fits in with, with Playboy Cardi's head a little bit better. So let's clean it up. Let's edit it. We don't need some of those excess gloves. So let's kind of get rid of that. So for the bottom, it's feeling a little empty. So we can include some information on like the location of the music event, address, and the time and location. So let's look up a random stadium that this fictional concert could be held in. And I just included Hard Rock Stadium because it's pretty well known. And we're just gonna start inputting that on the bottom. Let's place it down below and let's choose a nice font, maybe something wide and thick, a little bit more modern that we could use. So yeah, this font's feeling pretty cool. Now we're just gonna copy and paste that address into the block of text. And let's kind of play with that tracking and letting. Let's make everything a little tight. Okay, and yeah, Acumen's a really cool font. You could download it if you have the Adobe Creative Suite, it's free. And what's cool about this font is it's super adjustable. So you could kind of customize the wideness of it. Okay, and also on the bottom, I included a little bit more information like the date and time and some paragraph and some random images that kind of relate to like historic vampire-esque symbols and kind of like this vampire skull and also some kind of old school illustration as well. I also included this golden full moon on the background to just give it a little bit more dynamic background and just make it more busy on the back because it felt a little empty. And we're just gonna clean the type up a little bit more, kind of space it out evenly, give it a little bit more love. And let's go back and clean around the edges of the hair because that's probably the hardest part to make it feel a little bit right and the lightning as well. And every time I finish a poster, I love putting it onto this kind of mock-up wrinkled background just to make it feel more dimensional and realistic. So I can include a link down below of the Photoshop file I have of that wrinkled background that's free to use and you guys could download it. And that's it. This is the 2020 Vampire Playbook Hardy Hell poster. I hope you guys love the poster and like seeing the process behind it. If you guys have any fun ideas of what the next posters can be, please leave a comment down below. It's super fun making these videos and I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks and peace.